Hey everybody, thanks for watching, tuning in, checking this video out. Hope your day's been great. If it hasn't, hope it gets better from here. Make sure to keep those you care about close. Enjoy this content. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications. I won't be able to catch nor pass the daughter without all of you hitting that subscribe button. If you have any comments, suggestions, tips, or tricks, please feel free to leave those below. In this video, we are, well, we've been using Streamlabs for a while, streaming, recording. So what I want to do in this video is there are some tweaks I want to make to change things, mainly adding hotkeys and enabling the cloud bot, just making a few tweaks here and there, some changes that I think after street, after using Streamlabs for a while will make it easier to use. So please enjoy. Thanks. Not using the webcam for this video because after using Streamlabs for a while, there's some things that I would like to make changes to, and it's easier to do that if I'm not, well, I think you can see it better, too, if I'm not using Streamlabs to record it, so, therefore, I am not using the camera. I guess I could have filmed the intro using Streamlabs and then pieced it together, but this is the way I did it, so, sorry, gotta look at this boring screen while I'm talking, but anyways, like I said, been using Streamlabs for a while now, and there's some things I wanted to change. So that's what this video is going to be, just changing some things that I've seen or some things I thought would be helpful. And one of the first things that I'd like to change is I saw somewhere that showed some hotkeys for Streamlabs. So if I can, I like to set up hotkeys to change my, my scenes. I think that might be easier than having to go over there and click on it. So we're going to click on the settings down here in the bottom left corner, and then hotkeys. So you can see it has all these different areas you can set hotkeys in. I would already set up one before to save the clips for the replays. When I'm streaming, it makes it easier to do a unhighlight video. So these are the scenes that I want to do hotkeys for. So I don't think I really need a hotkey for the starting soon because that will be starting when I obviously start the stream. Now see these are all the different things on that scene. but. What I want is just one to switch to the scene. And I'm going to start with F6. And I'm just going to go F6, F7, so on, because... Or go that direction down the F keys, because that's kind of the order I want to switch scenes with. So the intro was F6. Mr. versus the daughter, we're doing F7. Gaming. F8. Be right back. F9. Ending soon. F10. Full screen. F11, right screen, F12. So that worked out number wise perfectly. So we'll test them. The starting soon's there. So now I'm curious if I hit my hotkey, I just can figure is it going to switch for me? Okay, yes, it did. So that's working as intended. So I can just hit that hotkey instead of having to actually move the mouse over to Streamlabs to change it. Which I think will make it a lot easier. It might... You know what? Okay, this is what I'm also going to do. I'm going to switch to here so you can see. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to rename these.
to what the hotkeys are. It'll make it a little bit easier to... At least I think so. So we're just going to right click rename. Okay, and another change I want to make is I have this one that says right screen. But I just want it to be a screen because a lot of times I have Streamlabs on my right screen, so I don't really want to switch to that one or use that one very often. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to add another screen capture. Where is it at? Oops. Display capture, I think. Why do I have it named? Is there a screen capture video? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do left, add source. Right. Well, let's add the middle in the middle. I guess that would make sense, right? Middle. Okay, so we have left, middle, right. So what we can do is we can hide all these. And then if I want, like the middle screen, for example, just unhide that one. I want the right screen, unhide that one. I want the left screen, unhide that one. So the left screen is actually the one I think I'm going to use the most if I just want to switch to a screen, so I'll just leave it unhid for now. Okay, so... I think it'll help having those F keys behind there. You know, at least until I get used to switching back and forth. And I think it'll make it a lot easier during the game instead of having to excuse me, switch to Streamlabs to actually switch. Well, okay, one thing I'm going to check here, too, is if it actually works while I'm playing the game, if I can switch scenes without having to click off the game, because that would be really helpful. So I'm opening Fortnite, so we can try that here. Maybe, if it wants to open. Okay. It's trying, honestly. Almost there, I think. Okay, so I'm in the game right now. I'm going to try... Uh, I guess just hitting something else to see if it works. Okay, it does. So... That's good, because then I can switch back and forth in the game without having to click off and go to... Streamlabs. The weird thing is, I wonder if I do that, if you hear the game audio on all of them. Looks like probably you do. Which I guess isn't a huge deal. Might be something I look into in the future, but right now I don't really care. I just wanted to set up some hotkeys for that. So... Oh, another thing I wanted to do is, when I'm streaming, 
the chat is on the right side and I'd rather it was on the left. I can't remember where I saw to change that. Let's see. Well, let's see if we can find it. So I went back to the settings. Sure, somebody knows exactly where it's at, and I'm just oh, right here. Show the live doc chat on the left side. So, settings, appearance, show on the left. Because I usually I play on my middle screen. And then I have Streamlabs on my right, so this way it's closer to look at the chat instead of having to look all the way across my right monitor, because it's right there on the left. And then the other thing I wanted to do is I want to set up the cloud bot here in Streamlabs. So I'm just logging into the Streamlabs account, going to chat bot, or chat bot, cloud bot, and we're going to turn that on. And then I'm going to turn on caps protection. We're just going to turn on most of these. Dame has that little icon next to it, so obviously that is, you have to be Prime membership. Okay, I want chat alerts. These games, I'm not going to turn those on. Nor commands, timers, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do, is just turn on the basic stuff for it. Not exactly sure what user management is. I'll look it up real quick. Oh gosh, it just looks like you can give them per, um, certain permissions or whatnot. Let's see. I think that was all I wanted, and I also wanted to fix the right screen issue, but I fixed that when during stream one day because I had this camera like covering up most of the screen. So that's pretty much all I wanted for this video is to make some tweaks to the stream lab. So we set up hotkeys, we enabled the clad bot. We moved the chat to the left side and we made sure the screen scene wasn't taken up. Well, the majority of it wasn't taken up by the video. And we also added all three screens and then disabled the middle and right so that by default it would show the left. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, learned something, helped me struggle with some Streamlabs changes. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so we can catch, some, catch and pass the daughter. We can't do that with all of you hitting the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, you enjoy this, you know somebody else who might enjoy it, please invite them. Thank you. And until the next one.